Now, it's time for advice for my seniors. Most of the seniors at my school I know because you know, they're just a year younger than me. So, most of y'all you're gonna do fine. You know, if you want some advice, stay tuned for this video. And for those who aren't from my school, hello, hello new subscribers. My name is Christiana Jolie. I have a new hairstyle, so you know, don't judge me. And today I'm gonna be giving you some senior advice, so stay tuned for more. My first piece of advice from our seniors is make sure you take pictures at least once a week or every other day. This will make your memories. I know you're thinking back on high school now like really I can't remember my freshman, sophomore, or junior year because a lot of y'all don't take pictures like that. I mean yeah I like photography and all but you know you just gotta take pictures for the memories man like you just gotta make those memories because you won't have time to make them once you graduate. So. Make sure to take pictures at least every other day or maybe at least once a week with your friends and basically everyone you know, all your close friends. My next piece of advice is to go to homecoming and other big events throughout your school year. You gotta go to your homecoming game. You gotta go to the school concerts, the school events, the school shows, like just get out there, see some stuff you haven't seen while you were in high school, you know. Go to the powder puff game, go to the homecoming football game, go to the softball games, the, the volleyball games, baseball, whatever y'all got, soccer. I don't know, just go to all that stuff. Just try some of it, because you know, once you graduate, you don't have as much time to go to those events, because you might be busy with college or, you know, adult life things. So go to your school events and make memories. My third piece of advice is to stay up on your grades. Senior writers is a real thing. Senior writers really hit me in my math class and in my forensic science class. Those classes, I mean, man, some of those grades, I just let them get away from me. I mean, like, yeah, every now and then, you know, some stuff is hard. You can't stay on top of it, but make sure you stay on top of your grades. I still pass my classes with A's and B's, so just make sure your grades don't get away from you because if they do, it's hard to get back up. Okay, um... Try your best in school so that way you can have that honor grad status if you are a B honor roll student because honor grad is a big accomplishment. I was an honor grad, you know, I had 90s and all that stuff throughout high school. The lowest grade I had throughout high school was probably in the 80s. I never made anything too, too low. But just make sure that you stay on top of your grades. Hang out with your friends as much as possible. If your friends want to go to the mall, ask your parents, can you go with them? If your friends want to go to the game, meet them at the game. Because once you graduate, you're not going to see them as much. Because, you know, right now, I just message my friends on Snap. We have a group chat. But, you know, like, we wanted to do stuff over the summer, but we're so busy with college and other stuff. It's just hard to once you graduate. So, make sure you hang out with your friends while you're in high school during your last year. My voice is going out. Choose your college based on you, not your friends. So, let's say you want to major in nursing and your friend also wants to major in nursing. Unless y'all both have the same plan that you want to do, or either y'all both like the same school, don't just choose the same school because of them. Choose the school that's best for you in your career path. You'll still always be connected with your friends on social media, you know, your phone, phone numbers, all that. Just stay connected with them like that, but... If you don't really want to go to that college they're going to, don't go there just because they're going there. It's not a good choice. Go where you want to go. And make sure you apply for scholarships right now. Summertime and all throughout your senior year before you graduate is when you apply for scholarships. Because later on, scholarships are harder to get and you can get more already applied for by the time you're already like halfway through your year now. And make sure you apply for your colleges early. Don't wait till the deadline or the day before the deadline. Don't do that. Take your ACT, SAT, and all those tests before the deadline. Make sure you take them early instead of like a month before you graduate because then everyone's going to be trying to take it and it's going to be a big hassle. So just get it done early. Whenever your teacher or anyone like your counselor announces it, just get there and do it. And if you need to, you can always retake those tests to make sure you get a high enough to make sure you get a high enough score to get into your college of choice. My throat is getting dry and tired. <laughs> and lastly, this is very important for me, make sure you become independent before you graduate. 
for me, a lot of times, like, I'd ask my friends, like, hey, can you come with me to the school store? Hey, can you come with me to go do this or that? And one of my good friends, she told me, you know, you gotta become more independent. You can't be so shy because, you know, once we graduate, everyone's gonna be by themselves. And, you know, to that consideration, I was like, I really do rely on others a lot, and I shouldn't be doing that as much. But, you know, when you're shy, it's kind of hard to do stuff for yourself, so... When I joined yearbook, you know, I became more independent because I could just walk up to people and ask them, hey, you want to take a picture? Hey, you want to do this? Hey, you want to do that? For the yearbook. So it helped me with my independence a little bit more. And then I became more independent on my friends. You know, do some stuff by yourself. Go out do some things by yourself. Go to some events by yourself sometimes. Meet your friends later. You know, just do your own thing. Taking pictures, you know, I had to do that by myself. I couldn't invite a friend with me every time, like, hey, can you go to the football game and take a picture? Instead, you know, I just went by myself and took pictures. You just gotta do things on your own sometimes. So I learned independence, like, yet, and Beer Watch made me a school celebrity. So it's gonna be a school celebrity, do things like journalism, school news, yearbook, all that good stuff. People will know you, especially with school news, because people still know me. People are like, you're my favorite beer and watch anchor, and I appreciate that. Go Bears. Anyways, participate in your school events. Make memories. Take pictures. Become independent. But somehow, still stay with your friends. And I'm also going to put some pieces of advice I found on Instagram for my senior year at the end. And have goals. Make sure you have goals like becoming salutatorian. Graduating with a so-and-so-so GPA, being an honor grad, getting a job, getting a car, you know, have goals. They will get you to where you need to be. Have goals. Have goals. So thank you for watching this piece of advice. I'm probably going to make another video right after this, but change my shirt neck like it's a whole nother day. But you don't need to know that, but I just told you, so... But anyways, you know, just, just do your own thing. Make sure you stay on top of your grades. Have goals. Make memories and have the best senior year you can.